Hey everyone, Nerdy Noob here, and today I have another unboxing video for you. I'm actually going to be unboxing a brand new box that I subscribed to. Um, I believe this is the 2015 June box. I know, I'm really, really behind. I got this a while ago, and it's just been sitting in my room, so I wanted to get it open. Um, this is the Geek Me box. This is a Crate Joy box, and I think that means that it's like just people who decide that they want to make their own subscription boxes, they can go on Crate Joy and create their profile and do all that fun stuff. So, um, this isn't like a loot crate where it's a giant business, but um, it seems to be going well for them. I don't know too much about this box other than it is $29.99 a month. I believe I signed up for a month to month subscription. I'm still a little bit unsure about that. Um, it is a little bit tricky because when you go on their website, if you go to sign up and they're sold out, you can't sign up for anything. You have to wait till they open it for the following month, which they do, I think, on the 21st of each month. So when I checked it out in May to try to get the May box, it was already sold out, and I had to wait till the end of May to sign up for the June box. So this is the June box, June 2015. I have no idea if there's a theme. I haven't watched any unboxing videos, so I don't even know what's in this box. It is just kind of like a normal box. It doesn't have... Um, their own like special box like loot crate or nerd block or anything like that but um, it is a little bit heavy on the heavier side I'm excited I have no idea what's in it sounds like something big though I don't know if you can hear that let's go ahead and get this box open all right once you open your box This is what you see. Oh, and I see a pop vinyl in here, so that's exciting. And it does come with a shirt, so that's nice. Let's take a look. Well, let's do the shirt first because it's on top. It is another black shirt, which is, you know, sometimes it's kind of sucky just because uh, I have cats. But um, they did give me an option of having a women's large, so that is what I picked. Um, this is what the shirt looks like. I don't know who this is. Um, I have no idea who this is. I don't know. I don't know. He looks like a mixture of like a green Hawkeye and a Robin Hood. Because he's got like bow and arrows. Or he's got arrows at least. I don't know if he has a bow. It looks like he might be in like <laughs> Seattle. I don't know. I guess comment and let me know who this is. Uh, here's our pop vinyl. It is a pop television vinyl from Thundercats and it's Mumra. Uh, you can get, including Mumra, there's uh, three, four, so there's five total characters that you can get. Lino, Chitara, Panthro, Mumra, and Snarf. I've honestly have never even heard of this TV show or have seen it or you know anything about these characters, but it's a pop vinyl. All right, we got another, or well, we got a South Park Kid robot. I've been getting these a lot lately. I'm glad it's not a double. Um, I believe this one is Kenny. It says the princess on it, but it looks like Kenny. Could get. Uh, five different ones. I have Cartman already, so maybe I'll just have to start collecting these guys. Alright, it came with uh, two pieces of candy. There's Zot's candy, watermelon, and apple. I do like watermelon, so that's exciting. And then it came with a book called The World According to Wolverine, packed with removable special features. Oh, this is a cool little book. Okay, I don't really know um, what the beginning's about. Maybe just his life, I guess. But as you go through, and there's like things that you can pull out, I guess. I don't know. Like little posters. Um, but they kind of talk about, they have costume pages. Whoa, it's kind of like a history of Wolverine. So that's pretty sweet. I actually like this. This is cool. There's a poster in the back that you can take out. Choosing the wrong partner. Um, yeah. 
This is a neat book. I've never seen a book like this. That's fun. All right, and then it has a postcard. Oh, they do give you a postcard to tell you what was in it. So this was the June 2015 box. Um, the shirt was I Will Not Fail the City by Ryan Astle. I still don't know what that's based off of, but you have the South Park, the Stick of Truth, you have the Thundercats Funko Pop, you have the World According to Wolverine, and you have the Zot's Fizz Power Candy. Um, oh, apparently Geek Me Box has been around for um, a year. It says, join us for a one-year anniversary, July 2015. So I guess the July box will be their one-year anniversary. So that's kind of neat. And then there's just a postcard about something on Kickstarter. Rare Elements. I think it's an adventure game or something. Alright, so for this Geek Me box, it came with one, two, three, four, we'll say four big items and then the filler candy items. I don't know if that counts as an item, but you had your uh, Wolverine book. You had your Funko Pop from Thundercats. You had your Kid Robot South Park, The Stick of Truth. And then you had this shirt. Which again, it did come in a women's large, although I, I never can fit into these women's larges, so I'm going to have to change that. But um, again, I still, don't under, I still don't know what this shirt is based off of, but still a pretty cool shirt. So there you have it. That's the June 2015 Geek Me box. Um, for $30, it wasn't bad. It does come with a pop vinyl, so that's always fun, especially when you're paying $30 for a box. Um, there's not too many items, but the, the four main items that it came with are pretty, you know, like, decent. Um, at least it's not just, like, two big items and then a bunch of filler items, so that's nice. Um, I'm going to have to research the shirt because I still don't really know where it's from. But all in all, it's a pretty good box. I wish that these, I wish that this box had um, some kind of theme. I guess it'd be a lot easier to kind of rate just because I could rate it based off of the theme. But for the price point and what it came with, I'm probably going to give this box a 3.5. I really actually enjoyed the book that it came with because I've never seen that book before. And, you know, it just something that I would totally get. I just have never really seen it. Um, the other stuff is nice stuff, and it's definitely uh, worth the value. I, let's see, the value of the box, let's say $10 for the shirt, $10 for the pop vinyl. Um, we'll say $6 for the South Park, so that's 26 And then the book has to be at least worth probably 8 to $10, uh, and then the candies are worth like $0.25. Cents. So I'm sure this box is basically worth its... $30, maybe a teeny bit more. Again, I wouldn't buy the pop vinyl that it came with just because I am i don't really know Thundercats too well, but pop vinyls are still worth about 10 bucks. So I think it's a really good start for this box. Um, I do like the type of things that it came with. I'm excited to see what their box is going to be like next month for their one year anniversary, so I'll keep you posted with that. Um, but yeah, I'll stick with the 3.5. Um, pretty good box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below, or you can even check out my channel and um, see some other unboxing videos. Feel free to subscribe if you are interested. And yeah, that's all I have for you right now. Um, I guess until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye!